The Volumes of Truth, Volume 7 Recompense, Wrath, and Glory February 11, 2009 From the Lord, our God and Savior, the word of the Lord, spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord to the United States and to this wicked generation of modern peoples, Hear the word of the Lord your God, the God of Israel, the God of all, for there is no other. You are walking into death, dead man's bones lost in a sea of sin, a dark ocean of transgression. You have forgotten me days without end. Thus must I also forget you in the day of harvest. Yet of your evil deeds, even all this wickedness of which you are guilty, I shall remember. Behold, I shall bring it to the forefront, that all who walk in it may receive of my punishment. Then you shall know, there is a God in heaven who reigns and judges the earth. And who is this who has given a voice? And what man is this who has brought all these nations into subjection? O oh, Halu, you shall be brought down to Sheol, and to the sides of the pit shall you be cast. For you are brought low, even to the uttermost depths shall you go. Behold, you shall bow at the feet of the King, the Holy One of God. You shall hear his voice and be brought down. Even all those with you, all these mighty and proud men, this great multitude, this numerous company which you have assembled, shall be struck down. Behold, every last one of them shall be slain by the sword of his mouth, being consumed in the brightness of his coming. Behold the King, for he is the King of glory, the King of great power and glory, the King of righteousness, the Lamb, the Lion. Behold, he is coming. There is no more time to tarry. The thief comes. He shall pass through. He shall gather his own. The earth plunged into darkness. And you, O oh most deceitful and wicked generation, even all of you with your proud looks and outstretched necks, shall wail and gnash your teeth in that day. Oh, such a cry shall be heard, the likes of which has not been since Rama, nor known since the day I stretched out my hand against Egypt. Great wailing and gnashing of teeth, great and bitter tears and fear, paling of faces, darkness, all light gathered and taken. Therefore weep and howl for your miseries. Lament and howl, O peoples of the earth. Scatter in fear, run and hide your faces and take refuge in the rocks. Run and hide, says the Lord God Almighty. For I am awakened out of my place. You have aroused me to anger. For the day has come. Yes, it is here. And the day of wrath is very near. Behold, the days of sorrow overflow and shall drown you in tears. Blood fills the earth and reaches unto heaven. Even before my throne do I hear the cries of every unborn child of which you have slain before my eyes. Without remorse! Murderers! Evil and most wicked generation! Vengeance has come! It is here! And I, even I, the creator of heaven and earth, shall surely repay. Recompense in full shall be delivered at my hand, for you have forsaken me. You have killed the innocent. Lo, you have murdered and torn the flesh of the little ones. Even now, your leader, in whom you have placed all your trust, betrays you, bringing my wrath upon your nation even upon every nation which has followed in your footsteps. You are undone! And as you have done to all these innocent, so shall it be done unto you. Even double shall you receive at my hand. Behold, I am moved from my place. I am moved to wrath. 
and if it was not for the sake of my servant Noah, and all these in whom I see of myself, I would have drowned your nation in the depths of the sea long ago, wiping away every trace of your existence. Yet for the sake of the elect, I have withheld my hand, and yet withhold my vengeance. Yet against your nation, I have already brought forth, and purposed, ruin. Peoples of the earth, I had sent to you grace. I revealed my mercy and the knowledge of salvation. I gave you the word of God. Behold, he has walked among you. Yet what do I hear, and what is this upon your lips, O perverse and fallen nation? His name, his name as a cursing. Therefore, I am come out to strike you down, to cast every stronghold of Satan into deep and profound silence. Be greatly astonished, therefore. Be awestruck at that which the Lord your God brings. Crumble in fear. Break under the weight of my wrath. Let all nations and peoples lie down. None shall stand. All shall fall down. Every pillar which stood so tall, every tower which remained unmoving, every giant who robbed and persecuted the poor and the needy in the name of gain. For behold, you have sown in the wind, thus you shall reap the whirlwind. For all your doings are but chaff, and your knowledge, which you call great and vast, shall be stripped away. Lo, it shall burn! Ashes beneath the feet of my messengers. Sons and daughters of men, repent and give me glory. Kiss the sun and humble yourselves at the feet of the king, the one who is and was and is to come, the Almighty. For he shall roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall roar mightily against his fold. He shall give a shout as those who tread grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth, as it is written. Yet those who call upon the name in sincere remorse, with many tears, shall be as brands plucked out of the fire, and those who come out from among them shall be delivered, says the Lord. <laughs>